Tundra versus Asta here in the upper bracket. I'm here with Kezu and Fog. Yeah, they tend to be just, they just put so much pressure with the hero. I feel like they're one of the few teams that actually makes the Scorched Earth always look yeah. super threatening, like in laning phase and stuff like that. Oh. Like one, two, three. And I'm a bit of a battle here. Skeeta, he stepped up to the high ground, but Boca's gonna be the first to fall low as Tundra will find that first blood. I'll lose Skeeter in return. Fine not to come to an end yet. Tundra, they want to try and push on for more. Shield crash pretty much onto the entirety of Astra's nine looks to continue the chase. They picked this up as CK because he's just a self-sustainer. He doesn't need to buy too much regen. He just sits in lane and attacks. Yeah, he, he also up. works incredibly well with Lich. It's kind of what yeah. Lich wants to have in the lane, someone aggressive. But at the same time, he has all this inbuilt region in the oh. top lane. I mean, poor old Monet is just... Not having an easy time at all here. Satchel got through Ooh. the chase down, and there's the chain lining to finish him off. Mono taken down. The same time down bottom, they'll attempt to get aggressive onto Skeeter, but the shield's up from Snake King. Skeeter trying to step back. Mango's being popped here by Siamese Cat. He's got another Frostbite close. and a blast. That last right click, though, not enough to take him down. Skeeter, he'll be able to walk away. A very much a, an incredibly different story here for the beginnings uh, of both carries. You know, Monet is not having a fun time at all up top. Honestly, Skeeter's going to start having a pretty rough time too. No regen, Bonnet. If he steps up, he just gets nuked and dies. See here, Monet and Boboka. They're going to try and trade back go towards 33, but Monet's getting right click down pretty low by Saxa. Same to be said for Boboka. They're both incredibly low. Okay. The arrow's going to come out. Monet he's not going to be able to finish off Saxa. Saxa kites him out with the lead. Oh as 33 God. getting another kill. Saxa will fall. But this top lane continues to be an absolute nightmare here for the Slark. Then the magic wand, then you have the mangoes. He gets the, probably the best creep he can ask for in this lane. Slark, low HP hero. He hates his chain lightning. Of course, he has Sax in his lane who's going to help him as well. And this lane is one oh, mid lane. Bit of a setup there. They're able to get the connection with the arrow. Jump oh four my. for nine. And that's going to be already taken down. So Saxa really feeling this early game pressure. He's actually putting two points in the essence shift if you see that as oh, well, too. So okay. not having the dark pack maxed probably yeah. pretty early on is going to really hurt All him. Right. I mean, that's my kind of slot, but <laughs> it's, it's going to be hard to play with a couple of early points in the passive. Right, this is devastating. Yeah, the lane is just so oppressive. It's so much mana that they have because those arcane boots. So just keeps spamming. Monet might just die again. Radiance They're gonna chase him out. See if they can find him in the trees after the pounce. Whoop. Catch a, a quick glimpse of him there. Oh. See if they can line up the arrow. They can. Wow. Monet wow. will be going down again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's already got this like aggressive ward that he placed earlier, so he can make these rotations and look to pretty much kill most of the cores. That burst damage is nothing to laugh at. See, Asta trying to make the aggressive move here towards Nine and Saxa. Ooh, he got a mid-shield crash. See if that's going to be enough to take him down. I think it should be Nine. He's caught on the high ground. Asta able to kill off the Pango. Oh, the worst feeling for Pango when that happens. Bottom lane, Skeeter. Ready to go with the ult. Turns quickly. Destroy his Siamese cat. It's sometimes it's hard to invade or really stop them from farming. So the best thing you can do because carries are getting better and better. You stay in this lane. You wait for the wave to push in. Well, jokes on you. I'm pulling it. Yeah. Up on him. Quick setup with the tumblers toy into the arena, but it's close to the tier two tower. So TPs will be coming in. Two of the three of them can burst through Skeeter. They can. The question is if they can get out without any sort of trade occurring as Saxa and Nine. Thinking about chasing, but Asta, they're able to break far enough away. Sorry, the one that's just right next to it. There we go. I mean, if, it's, it's if it debates us, it probably debates the players too. It really does. <laughs> Naming the Sentry Ward. Quick Naming the Upward Sentry Ward. Maboka. We'll see if the two of them have got the damage with the ult for the CM and the controller to dispose. They certainly do. Good quick move there from Asta as Nine caught by surprise. Can still just get burst though. That's the one thing he is playing versus a CK song. Versus in some of these like carry versus Marcy matchups, the Marcy can actually do decent versus some of those. CK can actually just blow him up if he's not careful. Trying over the Boca. aggressive jump at Baboka. Immediate reaction from Tundra. They'll throw down the chain frost. Baboka will die for that one. This team is oh, wow. definitely very good at, you know, combining your small little timing. So I you mean, do get this pick off and straight into Rose. Do they get away with this though? I feel like Asta, they've, they've got a decent chance of taking this fight. I don't know if Tundra can get away with this one. They don't kill it too fast. And there's the jump from... Ooh, Ooh, off the mark. A little off the mark with the spear. The Will Doom? the nine still able to get the Rolling Thunder off? And he's going to head straight over towards the race. But the BKB was off in time from Mori. So we run past the Rolling Thunder. There's the Diffuser Blade slow indeed as the BKB comes well, to an end. Nine continues to control it with the Eye of the Storm. It hurts nine badly. And now Mori is ready to tie it up. Jumps in with a pounce. Takes down nine. XXS pushes Saxa off towards the side. Finally, Ori goes down. But Mori, he's still looking pretty strong. He's ready to chase over towards the Lich. Take out another. Now turns towards Skeeter. Skeeter's surrounded here by Asta, it's going to be a triple kill for Monet. Oh, he's back, baby. 
I mean, shows up. Level 14 now, might even get I, another They grab. might just indeed get another one here, 33. The it's remainder ending. of the Moonlight Shadow buff, he's going to try for the TP out, but they've found oh. him! They've found him, they're going to be able to take out another Asta! Mone! Ultra kill! <laughs> Well, this, this was the little old slot that was getting bullied in the laning stage, but look at him now. It's Aster, they want to chill a bit, you know, pop your arena, kill one hero, Slark lingers around, and they keep going like that. Mm -hmm. See Aster, off the back of the smoke, maybe seeing if they can start things out. Bait out the team fight, but already nines him with the Rolling Thunder. They jump with a drop the Doom down onto Ori, but Ori's going to be able to keep his distance, but Boca left on the front lines will go down. Nine, charging over with the Rolling Thunder to set up for a second kill. They'll take out both supports, Tundra. This could get them that Roche now. I mean, the three cores are still time. strong from Asta, and there is no Doom in terms of the ultimate, and so no there thunder. may be a temptation to do this. I think they, they, they want to poke, at least, like maybe I run so. over, throw in a spear for some vision. Ori, I think he wants to join the catch on the Monet. He's already had to put the Shadow Dance off. The arena's down. They will immediately lose XXS. We'll see if Monet can find any cleanup this time. He's going to bail out. Jumps out with a pounce. No longer a fight that Asta can choose to take, with XXS immediately dying at the start. Immediately is the right word. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Yeah. Just evaporated. See Asta. They are going to try and make a play whilst that Aegis still stands in the hands of Skeeter. They want to abuse the Slark vision. Fresh BKB on XXS this fight. So if they can catch 33 before he's able to drop the ultimate, but immediately 33 is there with the Doom, but just as quickly Ori was able to get the BKB off in time. The BKB is up for him, he'll start to back away, same to be said for Monet, but Boca does get caught by the catch of Skeeter, but Monet's going to jump in aggressively to try and help out and keep the Boca safe. And now Boca jumps in himself with a two-man rerun, and Rank's excess with a four, Marina catches at the three of them, but Boca will be the first to fall, but they've found one in return, they'll turn towards Skeeter, take him down the once, frostbite control onto nine, wow. will allow XSS to get the double, and Asta, they can look to try and set up for Skeeter a second time round, he'll put the BKB, look for TPL, but he's got five heroes beating oh, into him, there's no escape for this. CK as Asta will take the team fight. They showed themselves mid. They nuke out the wave while they were smoked. This could be a good round for round. Hello. And Skeeter Another is prepared. Who steps into this first? Smoke dispels. They know that they're up here. Who drop down the ward? XXS is going to be looking for the nice jumping. Spear. Get the catch onto Saxa. Now with the spear, but he's still forced to side. Able to get the leak off Sax Saxa. He's away. He's out of the fight, and Baboka, he's having to deal with 33. 33 seconds going to look to bail out with the BKB TP out. Will actually kill Baboka on the way out there. Back in action, Monet finishes off the kill onto Snaking. He'll come back in with a buyback. They've Ori. locked down Ori, though. He's in so much trouble. And Skeeter just doing incredible amounts of damage. The Swashbuckle Bash over towards Siamese Cat as well. Tundra, they'll take the team fight, and at a very important time as well. Roshan is up. But Saxa here, four step leap, Wraith Pack runs away, and now it starts getting like a little weird for them and they're like okay we need to get the hell out of here but tundra are on the hunt for Asta once again got everything ready phantasm in 15 but they don't need it Aster have good positioning they're kind of waiting let's see how tundra approaches so you can see oh, it's skeeter trying to go for the crystal maiden but then monet jumps in but there's the agony of doom at 33 all he's got to do is stay on top of monet and then monet yeah. he's gonna have no <laughs> response nothing to be done against that as monet's out for 80 seconds and the rest of Asta, they've got to run. Tundra, they're going to try with the chase. Arrow! Okay. Not going to quite reach towards Ori. He's out of there. They won't have a chance of turning this game round. Hi. Playing into an Aegis Cheese and Ags at this deficit feels pretty much impossible. Looks like they really want to try to take the fight. I like what Tundra are doing. They just kind of stopped and oh, wait. The the doom. 33's in. The AoE Doom's there. He's going to look to chase down Baboka. Baboka was able to get the BKP off, and they do manage to ensure that Monet can break away from 33. <laughs> Still, though, they've lost the two other cores, XXS and Ori, and now Siamese Cat as well, short to follow. So they were trying their best. At, uh, a little bit of a silver lining there that they could get Monet out to safety, but three heroes still go down. Roshan still goes the way of Tundra. Asta, they fall further behind. But they just still have to continue watching. Now, who do you jump? Who do you start the fight on if you're Asta? You really feel like you've run out of options at this stage. And there's the there's that refresher finished up for 33. They're gonna try. Spear back. And with the jump, 33 will respond with the Axe AoE Doom in on top of XXS. That'll be the Mars going down. Has got buyback available. 33 moves over now towards Monet, but Monet was able to put the BKP in time. Keeps his distance. Chain Frost thrown out. Skeeter pops the oh Phantasm. Monet has to bounce back under the safety of his tier fours as Ori will go down. No buyback available for him. Now just with the, the four members of Asta, is there anything they can do to slow this down? This here falls falling. 
33 still has the refraction. He's he he able to catch Mono, Mono. Oh my goodness, he is actually able to jump out in time. But 33 stands back up in on top of XX. Says GG is called as Tundra will take this game one. Seemed like there was a small window where Aster was trying to, starting to bring things back together, but Tundra, they just played really patient. Yeah, I think like this mid-game timing really from them, Aster had to get kind of more done really in this timing with their BKBs where they were winning like one or two fights here and there, but Tundra, they just really, they held it together and then they just strike like one fight one and the whole game crumbled from there. Game two here, ladies and gentlemen, between Aster and Tundra after what was a very impressive looking game one. But anyone who gets grabbed from it is under pressure. It's almost level two already on Boboka. So, I mean, this is probably the lane that we want to be looking at mostly. It's the highest kill threats. Yeah, this next creep bottom is a level two. Oh. Simone trying to get the distance so he can get another raise in and indeed with the level two hit, Boboka able to jump across with the rebound and set up to take Saxa down. And a this is already like a very nice play. They're stealing the bounty rune. They're kind of playing around this HP and mana level of nine right now because Ori had this great little play oh, they're mid. Dead. They're going to look to dive this for sure. Now with the rebound, Vortex pull back on to nine. A TP comes in for Saxa. It's a two-man avalanche. Should be able to get some trade from this as Boka will fall. We oh, might be able to actually go for pushing Ori away from the rune as well too. Let's see if Saxa does do that. Yeah, you, you go, you kill that guy. If not, you get a free rune for Storm. And then once again, Ori can look for what he wants to do. As they're fishing a bit for XXS top. He's tanking. I'm gonna get the toss back over to Warskeeter. See TP's coming in in return from Asta. See if they can save XXS and all oh, nice setup there. Boboka provides the life steal and XXS with the Starbreaker pretty much heals right back up. And now he's ready to turn. Mid Takes lane. out Saxa. He's gonna get back to safety and at the same time the Vortex Ooh. into the cookie. Asta will find nine as well. Oh, this early game is really perfect for them. And do you think, you know, considering Tundra's lineup, is that something they can afford to do? This, this is sort of a, a draft that you know, is able to sort of recover from a, a sort of early game deficit if they do start to lose a bit of map oh, control? Nine. I would say it's definitely difficult because there's so much pick off for Master. The Storm can catch people on the side lanes with a Dawnbreaker ult. But I actually like that they're keeping the Marcy top because they mm -hmm. always have that follow up of the Solar Guardian that can come in. So making sure they do distribute. Yeah much to maximize. See here, Mel looks to go for 33. Look at the setup, he has got the pipe and a decent amount of one charges. He was able to get both of them off, but they have enough damage to fight through it. They take down 33. Tundra, they'll have the chance to get a trade here as the arrow connects in onto Siamese Cat. Tundra, they'll take down one in return and Ori, the ball lining out of this one. You need to really just take advantage of the strengths that the backup of a Dawnbreaker could provide on the on these sort of plays you're attempting. So they are smoking up again. They're very likely looking for this one kill into Roche. Ori, he's gonna let's go in. They'll get the grab onto 33. Coming over with the Solar Guardian, and the kiss is coming in as well. 33 falling low. They'll take him out with the Starbreaker. Yes, but next XS is able to get the two man stun off the back of that last swing of the hammer. Skeeter has to put the Shadow Dance to run, but Boca charges in a beats down snaking. Asta, that's the sort of moves they're looking to make. You know, looking at the follow plays, you likely for them, they want to push out their lanes, but I don't want them to really slow down the game because we have this Aegis and run down the top lane as five. And I just see that, you know, Ori and Siamese Cat constantly paired together, looking for some type of aggression, the DD inside that bottle. Under though, they do have the Moonlight blink Shadow. now. Saxa, he's finished it. I want to try and see if they can take the Aegis out of the hands of Ori. Quick toss combo. I'll do it. Once the Aegis gone. They have the tools to try and go for a second attempt at it. Lining Bolt, but no further abilities available at that moment to lock him down. So Ori will manage to escape. Yeah. Just going for any type of extra healing that they can do to sustain through this burst. No, they know that Monet, he has the BKB, so he is safe, but has to be able to get it off in most situations. Let's see if they can burst through 33. Should be able to. And they're yeah. coming in with a Solar Guardian backup as well. The four of them having no trouble taking out the spider alone. He's just been able to sit back and farm because of all the space he's gotten from his team. Tundra for a move. Skeeter leading the way. The Thunder Gods are after to scout things out, immediately trying to get as far away from this potential movement as possible, Asta. There was a random static remnant from Ori that actually hit the Slark, so they know where they are. Look at the jump lose. in onto Siamese Cap. And Ori zipping back over towards him. He's thinking about trying to take something in return. He's going to jump over towards Saxa. They can burst through this, but Boka commits it as well with the up, and Skeeter just turns with the pounce, but Boka's going to get taken down. Asta, they'll use the buyback on Siamese Cat. They want to try and take this fight, but it doesn't look easy to do. As Tundra, still incredibly strong, can Asta really try and turn a fight back into this? They're going to try. They go over the zip forward there, but combo down Skeeter. An immediate grab there from Ori as they take him pretty much down 100 to 0. He is out of battle, though, and the arrow connects in return. He'll lose his life for that one, Ori. 
Tundra, they're looking to go back in. The BKB is popped from XXS. I mean, Tax is going to have another jump probably in a second. They get the Nimbus drop down onto XXS. Jump forward with Tax and not quite able to find the toss back, though. Still has Avalanche at the ready. It's now onto Siamese Cat. And Tundra, they're still trying to, to push on and get some sort of connection onto the rest of Aster. They know that. They were even perhaps looking for Monet there for a second. They saw him on the high ground with that Ward Sentry. Just under a minute now until Roshan's back up, and both teams know it. They want to fight around this area. Jump forward from Zachary, he's able to get the toss back onto Siamese Cat, and then burst through the snap fight. Or he jumps up to the high ground, but he's pretty low on the matter. Will opt to keep his distance for now, and XXS sort of left on the front. He's going to go for the TP out with the remainder of his BKB. The rest of Aster, though, they're getting chased out by 33. Skeeter Baboka. closes the gap, pounces in onto Baboka Tundra. They'll be able to take a second kill. I mean, they're, they're playing the fight so well. These tossbacks, these ways to reposition, and then... You have Slark in the front, giving all this night vision. You have Saxa, he goes in, gets the tossback avalanche, four staffs himself back out. And now, if you're Monet on this SF, you don't want to run into a fight for five oh, seconds. Skeeter. Skeeter. Oh. Skeeter, but Skeeter was able to get the dark packed off in time. Into the Shadow Dance pounce as well. He breaks away from the combo. They that's, try to catch him off guard with. That's two massive ults on cooldown. The, I think that's maybe even the first Requiem that I saw of the game when he's level 18 and the Solar Guardian. So Tundra. Mosquitoes back up into this tower. area. They're going to try and make a play here. They get the toss bag on towards the storm. He's locked down underneath oh the pounce. Boy. Or he's out. I mean, Tundra just have completely claimed the lead of this game. They get a clutch kill, they disengage, and they keep following you. Like, look at all the spells. Double pounce, double force that. Your first initiation needs to come out from your side on Aster. So currently, I think Aster are, you know, realizing that, okay, we need to set up our Shadow Fiend for success. They're building double Halberd. Yep. Because later on, I mean, who's going to deal damage on Aster out, you know, through BKBs? Well, it's only SF. Stop. Top lane. Ori. Saxa, he's got the set up. The oh, pounce yeah. there, follow it up. Ori. Picked off here by Skeeter and Saxa. He's got to be careful here. Any sort of setup from the Blink Tiny. Aegis expired. BKB on Ori. They'll look to make the move. Let's see if he can find anything. Let's see if they get those BKBs off pre-Halberds too, to make sure that they have that damage if they do grab a target. Again, this area, it's been a bit of a death trap. Time and time again for Aston. Let's see if it's any different this time around. They get in with the opening over towards 33, but 33 pushed down to the side. The fear's there, though. Pushing they back the spider. They take him down. Now they'll turn over towards Skeeter. Skeeter, shadow dance to the ready. Commits in over towards Siamese Cat. Siamese Cat falls. Still, though, Skeeter's going to be surrounded. It's on Ori. Done indeed. Ori's in trouble. They'll attempt to force him out the side, but oh Skeeter's able God. to finish him off. Double kill for the slug. As Tundra, now three, back three off the now, but Skeeter's still very, very strong. Pounce over towards XXS. He needs help, and he needs it now. Monet trying to get involved in the fight, but he's already been disarmed. He's Albert. got a few raises for her over towards Saxa. But Skeeter, him. he's just taking them down one by one. Triple kill for him. Wow. Astra, they may have got the spider, but they get nothing else, and they lose four. Ultra kill for Skeeter. Oh my, I mean, the way that they're just ping-ponging back yeah. and forth inside the fight. He just can't do anything. Tanro just styling on him. He can't hit anybody. He starts hitting one person, one person gets forced out. Someone else, like another guy, Orger Seal, totems away from him. Zeus jumps away, can't stick on targets. And Ori, he 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 Oh my god, uh, tip nine, oh. tip nine right now, someone. Oh my god, what a lightning bolt. What the hell? So there's anything Aster can do here with just the four of them to stop a second set of barracks falling. I guess uh, Monet can go up and hit this Lark a bit. Hope he doesn't get tossed back. Oh, the Poker's okay. gonna jump in. He's in with the BKB. Pops the R as well. Look at him on Skeeter. But Skeeter's just out of turning it. But the Pash is he can just stand his ground against Pavoka. Jumps in over towards XXS. XXS will manage to get back towards the fountain. Aster, it won't lose anyone. Off the back of that Monarch. Monarch. He's got to be careful. He finds himself back underneath Nimbus. Will manage to force back Sector with the Hurricane Pike. He'll live. But the barracks do go down. Tundra able to clean up a second set. And I think Aster, it might be hard to contest this Roche, but I don't see how you get back into this game if you don't. Full Scotty now for the Slark. Look at this lane ward. They see everyone. Focus is gone. And uh, maybe Monarch. He's going to get a negative connection on to towards Monet. Monet trying to run, but Skinner's chasing him down. Monet's out of the game, so is XXS. Neither with buyback, the two supports done as well. They've got buybacks themselves. It's over, wow. it's a dieback from Boboka. GG is called Tundra. Wow, class, really.
6K deficit. They didn't seem to be phased by it whatsoever. Win every single engagement afterwards when they get the tiny blink dagger. I mean, yeah, Tundra. They're really on another level of stuff, and they're really displaying the understanding of really how to... I mean, we've seen it now a couple times, of course, on main stage, but how to really brutalize Shadow Fiend. Monet almost had a free game for the whole time and wasn't able to do much of anything with it. Yeah, I, I just... Tundra, they're showing me some of the most beautiful Dota I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah. From the team fighting to everything, they're down 6k gold. They can still make plays, you know, they don't seem phased by the situation of the game. Their itemization, like understanding how to play long team fights, who to itemize for, who to itemize against, who to play around and to not lose your cool. This team is quite something.